Hey guys, it's Kevin. You probably know I was in real estate. I was a realtor and also I flip lots of houses. Whenever you buy a new house, you want to get a redone tested. I used to use those one-time testing kit. You can find at a CVS, Pharmacy, Home Depot, or Lowe's. You put it in your basement for a day and then you have to seal it and send it back to the lab. So it's $20 just for one test. And today I'm going to show you a kit that can do continuous monitoring and also doesn't cost you $20 a reading. Hey guys, it's Abby here. We were sent a RN55 digital radon monitor from Life Basis. This did come in two boxes. And inside the white box, the radon monitor was also packed inside a white cover slip. It also comes with a manual, and the manual is in two languages, the English and Dutch. It also has a plastic screen protector on the front, which you can take off at any time. On the back, there is the battery cover. When I took the battery cover off, I realized that it does not come with any batteries. So we will take a battery break. I will find some batteries that it requires. The batteries it asks for is three AAA alkaline batteries. So while I put these in there, I'll give you some dimensions on this radon monitor. It's about 4.7 inches tall and 2.7 inches long, and it's about one inch wide. It's not very big, and that makes it good because it is portable. You can take it around to multiple rooms that you want to test and I think that's nice because it's a good size. We can put that battery cover back on now that our batteries are in and when I turned it over that it starts to say Cal for calibration and it's going to count up to a minimum of 50 is what it says in our user instruction manual and it says it should take under 30 seconds to do that. Okay so mine stopped at 63 and I guess that's where it calibrated to. So once it did that, we see that the screen is flashing. That tells us that it is ready. That's what the manual tells us, that it's ready to start monitoring. I want us to talk a little bit about what the long-term average represents and what short-term average represents. So long-term average is going to represent the average radon value for your ongoing measurement, and that's going to be up to one year. And your long-term average gets updated one time every 24 hours. The short-term average is alternating between showing the radon value over the last one day. It's going to update hourly. And over the last seven days, it's going to update once every 24 hours. The long-term average is used to identify any potential health risk. And the short-term average is used primarily to see the effect of measures to reduce the radon level, for example, by increasing ventilation. So the long-term is really going to tell you how much radon there is and how much at a health risk are you. The short-term average is going to be able to help you identify ways that you possibly can use ventilation in your home, opening doors, windows to move the radon to other areas or push it out and lower the the measurement of radon in your in your home or rooms, areas, office, whatever. All right, so we flipped it over and I'm looking at the back here now. We already saw that this is where the batteries go, but then above it we see two buttons. One on the left says reset and one on the right says mode. And with the reset button, that is how you're going to be able to take new measurements if you move to another room, another house. But do remember that when you press the reset button, this is going to wipe away all data that you have already taken from another place. So write that data down if that's something that you want to keep because the mobile radon monitor is not going to hold on to that. The mode button is going to give us information on the number of measurement days since the instrument was first started or from the last time it was reset and started measuring something new. When you push the mode button on the front, it is going to display for about 20 seconds the information for that. And it's recommended to keep the radon monitor on all the time so it can constantly monitor. And if you're wondering what the circle of dots are under that battery cover, that's the radon sensor actually. So probably don't want to keep that covered up or anything. It talks about not getting the monitor wet or too hot anywhere. 
yeah it's going to take us a little bit of some time and some hours to actually get a measurement on here and so we will come back with that another thing is that right above that battery cover that there's a little hole that's able to hang on to a hook or a screw or something so you can leave your monitor up on a wall which i think is awesome so cool all right and so this is coming back after i have left the radon monitor for the whole weekend in my office and the epa recommends that the radon level be under 4.0 that's about the amount of having 100 chest x-rays and normally hospitals only recommend or allow people to have four chest x-rays in a single year okay and the world health organization recommends that it has about two and a half or a three radon level so in my office it's looking pretty good that it's at a 1.43 and a 0 0.83 right a one is equal to about two and a half cigarettes a day so if this gives us any sort of indication of what these levels are recommending for us um so that's what i found in my office um and these again these indicate how we can ventilate um, the area or what we expect to find uh, the amount of radon if we are looking to buy an office buying a home any sort of place that we want to measure if it has a high level of radon in it okay so it was interesting to test this out in my office and I do recommend that you get this monitor. It's very easy to use, very easy to set up, easy to understand in the manual. I really like this life base radon monitor. Alrighty, that was my review on it. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you'd like more helpful videos, you can go to youtube.com slash BCH Technologies. You can visit us at bchtechnologies.com or you can visit us locally here in Greensboro, North Carolina.